As the former soft-spoken president of the NCAA, he leaves behind a legacy of academic reform spanning the last six years. But Miles Brand will also be remembered for one famously specific act, his firing of Hall of Fame basketball coach Bob Knight. Those are the public hallmarks of Brand's 67-year life, which ended Wednesday after a nine-month battle with pancreatic cancer. Dr. Brand, who was otherwise physically fit and active, learned at the start of the year his late-stage growths were inoperable. One of Brand's last public appearances came in late June, when he accepted an award in Indianapolis for his commitment to young people. Since 2003, Brand, an influential and vocal leader, helped university presidents regain tighter control of athletic programs. His work affected more than 1,000 NCAA member schools he oversaw. Under his watch, the introduction of the Academic Progress Report created a scorecard that severely punishes teams whose athletes consistently fail. In an interview with the Associated Press late last year, Brand said the initiative was working as more student athletes were meeting their academic requirements. We have started to change behaviors. For example, this past year we've set record numbers for graduation rates in, in all, all sports across the board. Women do better than men in general, but in all sports we've seen uh, c continuous progress on average. About two weeks after this interview, Brand learned of his grave condition. While graduation rates for men's basketball and football players still lag, rates for NCAA athletes overall have risen to the point where they're now higher than the general student body. It was Brand's most prized achievement. Another core mission was his need to greatly increase minority hiring in major college football. Among the nation's 120 teams today, only seven head coaches are African American, a racial imbalance that Brand found untenable. In 2000, Brand made headlines when, as president of Indiana University, he took a tough stand against Knight and fired the volatile coach for a continuing pattern of defiant and hostile behavior. Months earlier, following Knight's increasingly bellicose demeanor, Brand had adopted a zero-tolerance policy. On the night of the firing, thousands of IU students protested outside Brand's home in Bloomington and burned him in effigy. Brand, who also led the University of Oregon for five years, left Indiana in 2002 after eight years as president. During his illness, he was asked why he reacted so calmly about his diagnosis. Brand, a former philosophy professor, told a national newspaper, quote, I'm not angry at anybody. This is biologically determined. These things happen. John Klobuchar, The Associated Press.